Uh, Hugh, I want to ask you about identity. There's a lot of questions about... Oh, this sounds deep. All right, I'm <laughs> buckling in now. Okay. There, there's a lot of questions about Tom's character's identity because it changes and all that. What would you say Roper's identity is? Is it? Does he know who he is and how do you approach that? Well, I don't know who he is. Um, I don't mind that, by the way. I think a lot of actors sort of get very restless if they can't explain every single... But the truth is I can't explain everything about my life. I don't know why I say the things I say and do the things I do. And most of my life is spent looking backwards, thinking, why in God's name did I do that? Um, so I don't need to know exactly who Roper is. And I don't actually, I don't know. Is The enigma is part of the attraction. It, it's, it's like a puzzle that won't ever quite resolve itself. I have, I have theories. One theory is that Roper... It's one of the things that makes me actually, it's a sort of redeeming quality of Roper, I think, is that he knows his sin. He knows he is a damned soul, and he is actually looking to be betrayed. At some level, he is actually choosing his own Judas uh, because he knows that his time is limited and he wants to take control of how he is betrayed. That is fanciful. And I have no authority from the author to, to make that claim, but that's my own theory. When we, when we see Corky kind of getting shoved out and Pine getting drawn in, are, that, are they just interchangeable people to Roper, or does he not need Corky anymore and he sees he needs something from Pine? How I think, uh, no, well, I think there was a time when the bond between Corky and Roper was very, very strong. I, I, I pictured um, Corky uh, making Roper laugh a lot, and he was like the the he was the um, he was the clown to the king, and uh, the the the, uh, the king kept him around because he found him uh, immensely entertaining. That that the bloom has gone off that rose, and Roper is looking. I don't think they're interchangeable exactly, but I I feel there's something fairly ruthless in the way that R Roper. Uh, has assembled his court. He wants a certain cast of characters around him. He wants certain. He wants the warrior and the poet and the clown and the. Um, and uh, I don't know if they're interchangeable exactly. But there's some, there is something cold. I mean, he's a. This is a very very cold. Uh, I don't know. If, I don't know if he qualifies as a psychopath, but he's. Is there a spectrum for psychopaths? Maybe there is. If, if so, he's on it. Pretty far down it, actually. Okay. And I wanted to ask about quirky sexuality. It's not a big point in the story, but it is something that's there. And your character does have a, a friend of Dorothy line. We're talking about getting rid of the friends of Dorothy, which I laughed out loud at that. Oh, that's right. Yes, that's her. right. But how, how would that's you say, Ro how does Roper see quirky sexuality? Is that just... I think he's... I, I think he's... It's funny, I think... Uh, there's, a, there's some later references to it. I think actually, also, he, he makes some reference to, the, to Pine's politics, where the, you know, he, he asks if Pine is a, is a socialist, and he alludes to the fact that Corky actually, that's one of the things that Corky suspected and doesn't like. But I think actually Roper, in, in certain areas of life, is actually pretty non judgmental. I, I, I don't think he has sort of. Uh, you know, he fought, I don't think he's prejudiced. I don't think he's, uh, I think where it suits him, he can be ruthless, ferocious even. But in other areas, I think, you know, um, he, he can be fairly easygoing uh, and enjoy um, people for who they are. Uh, it seems like an unlikely mixture, but it sort of made sense to me at the time somehow. Did you have a favorite location? Gorgeous. They're just more? preposterously gorgeous. I mean, we each one more gorgeous than the last, uh, and we and we began with the Matterhorn. So we and we only went up from there. Can you go up from the Matterhorn? Not by far. Um, Mallorca is absolutely astonishing. I'd never been there before, um, and uh, it was just uh, eye-wateringly beautiful. Um, and I, I can only apologize. It's one of those things that actors get from time to time. I promise my next role will be a coal miner and I will embrace it and, and with the same relish. Uh, that's all I can do. I, but we got lucky. We struck it lucky with this one.